seven impressive and strange facts about the male body. What is the purpose of an Adam's apple? Could male nipples lactate? The male body is full of surprises. Some of its characteristics remain largely unknown, not only to women, but to men themselves. So if you want to know more about the body you live in, get ready. We've compiled a list of impressive and peculiar facts about the male body and some odd differences between male and female bodies that you don't want to miss. But first, make sure you click that subscribe button and turn on notifications to be the first to watch our videos. Now let's get started. Number 1. Female Origins Did you know that all of the human beings in the world begin their existence as females? Well, we all do, at least for a short while. How is this possible? Geneticists have discovered that humans technically start life as a blank slate, and for the first five to six weeks, only the X chromosome is present in a fetus. The X and Y chromosomes are responsible for determining an individual's sex. If two X chromosomes join together during conception, a female is produced. If an X and a Y chromosome join together, a male appears. After the five to six week period, if the fetus is to be male, the Y chromosome finally appears in a process called sexual differentiation. The Y chromosome releases androgens, like testosterone, and represses the female hormone estrogen. And if the Y chromosome never arrives, then the fetus would continue to develop as a female. Try to remember a man's female origins as it'll come in handy a little later. Number 2. Baldness don't freak out if you've seen some hair loss in the shower. According to the American Academy of Dermatology, people generally lose about 50 to 100 hairs per day. And given that you have over 100,000 follicles of hair in your scalp, it seems okay to lose only 50 to 100 hairs. But heavy hair loss that leads to baldness is a problem affecting a lot of men. Contrary to popular opinion, the gene of baldness is not passed on exclusively by the mother's X chromosomes there are other important factors. If a man's father is bald, then his chances of also losing his hair increase by 60%. The activity of male hormones also affects hair follicles in such a way that the body gradually loses its ability to produce new hair. The hairline begins to recede, and the hair on the top of the head thins out. Stress and a poor diet also significantly increase the risk of going bald. Men with male pattern baldness can start losing their hair as early as their teenage years. If this is happening to you, don't worry. It usually takes between 15 and 25 years to go fully bald. And according to a study by researchers at the University of Pennsylvania, bald men are perceived as more dominant and attractive. So you can certainly rock that look. Number 3. Men's faces age slower than women's. A man's face preserves its youthful appearance for many more years than a woman's face does. This is all down to the fact that a man's skin loses its concentration of collagen much more slowly as he ages, meaning that it's much more resistant to wrinkling and sagging. However, skin care habits and exposure to sunlight might not make the difference so noticeable. For example, if a woman takes care of her skin and applies sunscreen regularly, she might look much younger than a man who is the same age but does not take care of his skin. Though men have the advantage with facial aging, environmental factors can add years to a man's skin and undo the effects of collagen. So now that you know, it might be a good time to run to the store and apply a good layer of sunscreen. Number 4. Thick Skin no, we're not talking about emotionally thick skin. According to dermatological studies, men's skin is thicker on the stratum corneum, which is the outermost layer of the epidermis. It provides a strong barrier between the environment and the living cells underneath. Here's an interesting fact. The stratum corneum is also known as the horny layer, but don't get ahead of yourself. It's called that because the cells are toughened like an animal's horn. The hormone testosterone is responsible for men's thick skin, causing it to be 25% thicker than women's skin. However, over their lifetimes, men's skin becomes thinner more quickly, whereas women's skin remains the same thickness until they reach menopause, when it starts to thin out. The texture of a man's skin is also very different from a woman's. Superficially, we notice that a man's skin is rougher. But we might not notice that a man's skin also produces more sebum than a woman's skin. Sebum is an oily substance secreted by the sebaceous glands, and it helps the skin and hair maintain their moisture levels. Sounds like good news, right? 
but it can also account for why men have longer lasting acne than women. Still, moisturized hair and skin seems to be a significant advantage. Number 5. Men's bodies can lactate. Yes, you heard that right. But have you ever wondered why men have nipples in the first place? Remember how we told you earlier that men essentially started life as females? Men and women are built from a common pattern, and that's the reason why men have nipples. In theory, men could lactate because male breasts have milk ducts and some mammary tissue. Another reason is that they have the hormones responsible for milk production, oxytocin and prolactin. But don't get scared, and don't expect to start lactating any day now as it isn't common. There have been reports that males have lactated after significant stimulation to the nipples. There have also been reports of spontaneous lactation, which can be a bit awkward. But those instances can only occur when too much of the hormone prolactin is produced. This might be the result of certain types of medical treatment used to stimulate the heart, problems with the pituitary gland and hypothalamus, use of opioids, or extreme hunger. So unless you are taking medication that will react with your prolactin levels, you don't have to worry about spontaneous lactation. Phew! Number 6. The Adam's Apple Have you ever wondered what the Adam's Apple is for? Did you notice when it started to protrude? During men's teenage years, their bodies experience a series of changes, one of which is the protrusion of the Adam's Apple. The Adam's Apple expands to account for the growth of the larynx. As the larynx grows, the man's voice becomes deeper and lower. Some men can have a larger Adam's Apple if their voice box or larynx is large. Did you know women can also have an Adam's Apple? Most women have a small version of the Adam's Apple, and it's simply there to protect the thyroid gland and vocal cords. Some women can develop larger Adam's Apples if they have large larynxes. A large larynx may be caused by an increase in testosterone. Number 7. Color Perception Do you remember the classic joke we've all seen on TV where a woman brings a color palette to a man to try to get his opinion on several shades of white, but the man only sees one shade of white? Research shows that there's actually a basis for this joke. Men can discern far fewer shades of color than women can, and the reason for this is really quite simple. Color perception is determined by retinal cone cells. Their information is contained in the X chromosome, and because women have two X chromosomes, the number of cone cells they possess is, naturally, twice as high as that of men. A professor at CUNY's Brooklyn College tested a large group of men and women on their color perception. The results showed that women were more adept at differentiating between subtle gradations of color. For some shades, women were able to detect tiny differences in color that looked the same to men. However, men are better at perceiving changes in brightness. According to a 2014 scientific report, the color red has been shown to distort a man's perception of time, but not a woman's. Don't you sometimes wish that men and women could see eye to eye? All jokes aside, the differences between female and male eye perception is real. Do you know of any other impressive facts about the male body? Or any generally unknown differences between male and female bodies? If so, tell us in the comment section. And don't forget to click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.